hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about some of the problems that you usually face while updating to watch os 8 especially for apple watch series 3 so in my previous videos i have shown you the update of watch os 8 on my apple watch series 3 as you can see this is an apple watch series 3 and on that video many of you have commented that i'm having apple watch series 3 i'm not able to update so in this video i'm going to talk about some of the common problems that you might face while updating to watch os 8 and how has it been for me whether i have faced any issues and if you have those problems how you can overcome especially the storage problem and how you can specially update to watch os 8 on your oldest apple watch supported by apple that is apple watch series 3 so you make sure you watch this video till the end and if you are new here before starting the video I would request you to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me immense motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys. Now with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, as you can see, this is an Apple Watch Series 3 and in a moment I will just go to my watch application, I will show you that already I have updated to Watch OS 8. So let me just put my watch and let me take my iPhone, so as you can see, this is my iPhone and let me show you, if I go to this Apple Watch application, so if I tap on here and if I click on this general, as you can see, if I go to the about section, as you can see, the version says watch os 8 and the build number is 19r346 now before talking about some of the common problem that you might face while updating to watch os 8 i had taken a screenshot from the screenshot as you can see the watch os 8 update came in about one gigabyte on my apple watch series 3 so if you're having apple watch series 4 5 the update size could be different for you but for apple watch series 3 if you were on a stable series of update for watch os 7 then definitely it will come around one gigabyte now talking about some of the common problems that people are facing and have also commented on my previous videos that you know people mostly face storage issues with apple watch series 3 now talking about the storage so first thing before updating to watch os 8 what you can do you can come to this apple watch application and you know go to this general option and then come down and you can check the storage option over here so if you come down you can see that there's a storage option if you click here so it will calculate all the applications that are currently installed on your watch and if you want you can actually delete those applications so you can see that out of 8 gigabytes 3.7 gigabytes are available as of now after updating to watch os 8 so the main thing is that once you update it to the latest watch os 8 there is not much space requirement you know you can install as many applications as you want but while there is a major update for watch os 8 watch os 8.5 that time it requires a uh, no, lot of storage to install that update so in that time you might have to uninstall the application so what you can do basically let me tell you if you are you know getting a storage issue while updating to watch os 8 probably it says that it requires more storage you can simply uninstall the application what you think is not necessary from your apple watch itself so what you can do you can tap and hold any application so as you can see it will give you the option as you can see to edit apps now you can click on this edit app so you can see that it will give you all the you know uninstallable application for example if i would like to uninstall this tips application which is not necessary so i will just click on this tips and it gives me an option to delete the application so if i click on delete so it will be deleted from the watch as well so it will be reflected now so as you can see like this you can you know delete all the necessary application and can increase the sort of storage now one more problem that normally people face and have commented on my previous videos that they need to kind of you know sometimes unpair the apple watch and pair it back or if you want to you know are not able to install the updates after deleting all the applications as well so let me show you how you can actually kind of reset your apple watch so basically come to this general and scroll down as you can see on the bottom you have this reset option 
and as you can see there are three options so i would like you to click on the first option which says erase apple watch content and settings so once you click that it will give you the confirmation i will not do that but if you are facing storage related issues on your apple watch then i would urge you to you know do this erase watch content and settings in that way your apple watch will be set up as new and you can do that and also there is one more way so basically you have to unpair your apple watch and pair it back and while pairing it back you have to set your apple watch as a fresh apple watch so for that you need to go to the apple watch application and click on this you know all watch option which you see here after clicking on this all watch option as you can see you have to click on this i option and as you can see you can click on this unpair apple watch so once you unpair your apple watch then you can pair it back and while pairing it back again with your phone it will ask you for the confirmation whether you would like your apple watch to be set up as a new watch or would you like your old application to be back so that time if you want you can set it up as a new apple watch and once you set it up as a new apple watch then definitely you will have more storage and you can update to watch os 8 so these were some of the few questions that people asked me so with the help of this video guys i just wanted to make sure that all of you are updating to watch os 8 and do not face any issues so i hope that this video was little bit helpful and if this video was little bit insightful and was helpful to you definitely do give this video a thumbs up and i would request all of you watching this video do consider subscribing to this channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye